Shalom, shalom, family. This is Yehuda from Yah's Assembly, and today we're getting back into a psalm a day, and we're going to go over Psalms 117 and 118. So please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like and share our content. Also, um, we are up on Odyssey. Um, it's free. It's uh, You would just go to Yah's Elect on Odyssey, so please subscribe and support us there. But um, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him all you people for his merciful kindness is great towards us and the truth of yahuwah or the lord endureth forever praise you the lord so that's the a part of the full duty of man um praising the most high and to let the, all the nations in the world know of his goodness of his mercy of his truth and we're always supposed to be giving thanks to the most high that's why people that aren't I don't even want to say religious, but aren't in the faith. They understand the power of gratitude because even scientifically, they found out that a grateful heart delivers or brings you miracles because we live in a, in a realm or a plane. Earth is a planet or a plane uh, of manifestation. So we're always manifesting on something, but being grateful to the most high unlocks the doors to the kingdom of heaven or to the, the law of manifestation. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, Psalms 118, verse 1. For he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aharon now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. Everybody, everyone, say that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in in distress the lord answered me and set me in a large place the lord is on my side i will not fear what can man do unto me so we're not supposed to be fearful because remember we were never given that spirit but because we're supposed to have confidence in him because he is greater than all his ways are are not our ways it's his ways are above our ways we only see through a, a glass dimly so we can't see the full spectrum the full picture um, a lot of times. So don't fear. Fear is just misplaced faith. It's just faith in the negative manifestations. But faith in his power and in his love covers a multitude of sins. A multitude of sins. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. So he's with those that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. Because we're doing the things that are pleasing to the Most High, so we manifest those things. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. See, the problem is a lot of y'all have confidence in the president, in Congress, in political affiliations, in a professional association, in fraternities, in sororities. Um, in church organizations and what my pastor said and what my apostle said and what my bishop said and what my more said a lot of people have confidence in man and don't have confidence in the 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 being the spirit that created you uh that dwells in each and every one of us it is better to trust in the lord than to put confidence in princes or presidents or kings all nations can pass me about but in the name of the lord of yahuwah will i destroy them so it don't matter what nations come against you uh Kyrie, <laughs> it don't matter uh whoever else you want to call out it don't matter if you're truly doing the things that are pleasing to the most high there's nothing to fear but if this is for show <laughs> um it's not going to, you, your end is not going to be good because that's why I'm always leery about when all these posts and when all this stuff happens in the media because it's a show. The world is a stage. So I try not to get into it too much, but it's great talking points. Great talking points. All nations can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They can pass me about, yea, they can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. Or in the power, the authority of the Most High. They can pass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. 
for in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them because it's not by your might. Uh, it's a it's by his power. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. So the problem is a lot of uh, for a lot of us, the most high. Um, who some will call God his, his, or some people will call Yahweh or yeah, Yahweh or I believe Yahuwah. You know, the problem is a lot of us have not allowed him or made him our strength and our song. Because when you do that, when you're keeping that joyful noise in your in your lips, in your mouth, then he becomes your salvation. Because you, you're releasing that frequency that's pleasing to him, that 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 sweet smelling aroma um, that arouses him um, to come and help you. That, uh, for lack of a better term, invokes him to protect his own. Because remember, you are God's. You are the children of God. And when you unlock this kingdom of heaven that the Messiah was trying to get everyone to understand, all things are possible to you. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. We got to stay rejoicing no matter what. We got to be grateful. We got to be happy. Um, even um, because remember, uh, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. You got to remember that uh, your end, the end of a thing is greater than, than the beginning. The right hand, or G who some would call Jesus, who I believe his name was Yahushua, the right hand of the Lord. The, doeth valiantly the right hand of the lord is exalted the right hand of the lord doeth valiantly now this one is the most powerful verse in this psalm to me i shall not die but live and declare the works of yahuwah of the lord this is like one of my bedrock scriptures right there because when you're going through the ebbs and flows the ups and downs in life when you're having homicidal or suicidal thoughts or wondering like what's your purpose in life and sometimes when it feels easier to die sometimes you got to remember certain things that you're grateful for and you got to remember like no i have not fulfilled my purpose yet so i shall not die but live and declare the works of the lord so sometimes you got to put your name there uh yehuda shall not die but live and declare the works of the lord and it gives you strength if you meditate on the scriptures day and night that's why the Bible tells us to do these things, because this is what the basic uh, instructions before leaving earth. And a lot of us won't even humble ourselves and pray, seek his face or even read the word to have a, a great or a good understanding. That's what we went over last Shabbat. So when people are trying to tell you why are you trying to learn the commandments or why are you trying to I read the Old Testament, this is that because I'm trying to have a great or a good understanding because I'm trying to have peace. What when we get into Psalms 119 tomorrow? Um. It's going to let you know that those that are keeping the commandments have great peace. And that's why a lot of people don't have it in their lives because they won't spend 20 minutes a day. Read a couple scriptures. Just, just, just get a couple of it. Like, you know, maybe you, you, you play it on YouTube and you sleep to it. So that way it's getting in your ruach, getting in your spirit, right? So I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord have chastened me sore. But he have not given me over unto death. Praise you, who are for, for his mercy, which endure forever on that one. Because a lot of us have done things that are worthy of death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and are become my salvation. Allow him to become your salvation. Be thou healed, be made whole. According to your faith, is it done unto you? The stone which the builders refused is become the head stone of the corner. So a lot of us have been outcasts. And in this, uh, in the awakenings, uh, we find like-minded people. And for a lot of people that they're in different pockets and you feel alone and this, this, and that, um, you are that stone that the builders refuse because you are the light among the Gentiles. You are the light to the people uh, that are asleep. The stone which the builders refuse has become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. 
This is another bed right. This is the day which the Lord, which Yahuwah hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. When you make the choice to be glad in it, worries disappear. Pains and aches dissipate. Troubles flee from you because what are you doing? You, have, you are fleeing to Yahuwah because he has become your strength, your song, and you have allowed him or you have made him your salvation. So again, this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee. Send now prosperity. So a lot of people try to say it's a bad thing to be praying for prosperity. Uh, it's better to be poor and lowly. This is and that. Well, Psalms 118 verse 25 doesn't say that. Send now prosperity. He is commanding that thing because the Most High has become his salvation. Because he's unlocked that kingdom of heaven that is within you. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God or Lua is the Lord or is Yahuwah, which have showed us light, bind the sacrifice with cords even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. So, Father, we thank you for your word today. We ask for you to forgive us of our sins and the sins of our ancestors, Father. We ask for you to protect and keep us from all hurt, on, hurt, harm, and danger. We ask for you to send health and healing now. We ask for you to send prosperity now. And thank you for opening up your words uh, to your people, Father, this day. All of these things we do ask and pray in the name of your beloved son, Amon. So again, we got back into a psalm a day today. This was Psalms 117 and 118. I am Yehuda. This is Jazz Assembly. So again, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like and share our content. Um, add us on uh, Odyssey, Yaz Elect Assembly. And until next time, peace, family. Whoa, whoa, whoa.